has been uh, almost a year since Blue Planet mm -hmm. uh, to <laughs> highlight it, of course, <laughs> the damage plastic is doing to marine life. And one of the items under scrutiny is the plastic straw. You remember those horrible images that were a turtle with a plastic straw in its nose. Well, now demand for the paper version is soaring, unsurprisingly. This has provided a business opportunity for producers in the UK. Our consumer affairs correspondent, Coletta Smith, has been finding out more. And this is lovely. This time last year, Sandra and her family were doing what most of the country were doing. Everyone was talking about Blue Planet. And we were watching it and we were thinking, you know, there's something we can do here. But unlike the rest of us, Sandra and a group of friends decided to take a pretty bold decision. So we said, you know, let's go and try and do this. Let's go and get some paper straw machines um, and, and try and get rid of the plastic straws out there that you find on all the beaches and in all the streets and in the gutters and all the rest of it. So that's what we did. We started with one machine. We didn't know how to work it, um, but now we're at, we're at um, four machines. It's still small scale at the moment, but these machines are churning out one million straws a week. There's a growing list of orders as customers in hotels, cafes and pubs are demanding change. We do find that uh, people are deliberately asking to not have a straw in the drink. Um, it's not until we tell them that oh, we actually do have paper straws then they will accept it anyway. With bars, restaurants and cafes all struggling to keep up with customer demand at the moment, if you are given a paper straw, the likelihood is it's going to be flown in from China. And that raises more questions about just how green it really is. So this is our main warehouse where we pick our main orders. There's been a big change in orders at Henry's Catering Supply Company. They now sell more paper straws than plastic ones but he has to fly them in as no one could make enough straws quickly enough here. Customers would buy a box of 250 of the plastic straws. They'd probably pay about 75 pence to a pound for a box of those. The paper straws are three and four pounds for a box of 250. Four, but they're still four times, four times the price, three to four times the price of, um, of the plastic straw. So if you had bars and restaurants coming to you saying that their customers are demanding paper straws? Yeah, absolutely. I think this trend is, is consumer-led. They don't want plastic straws in their drinks, so it's really driven by the end user. Even companies as big as McDonald's have now swallowed that extra cost and switched to paper straws as customers want to feel like they're doing their bit for the environment. To make it a greener choice, Sandra's hoping that more of those straws will be made here in the UK. Who knows how big this could be, but we're really excited um, with the process um, and it's great to be making a change. Coletta Smith, BBC News. So it's